Well, welcome back. First thing you will probably realise in this video is that this isn't my usual boat. And this is in fact the project which I've just bought. Got the keys for and two sets of keys actually. So that's a bonus. Um, and we've got this boat to do up and to flip. So if you're interested, stay tuned because we're going to get this boat fully turned around. I'll give you a run through now and show you everything we're going to do to it. I'm going to do to it. And yeah, we'll get it turned around and sold as quickly as possible. So let's go. So as you can see, the outside of this boat is actually quite neat. The boat is a 1989 Shetland Family 4 and the opportunity came for me to buy it, do it up and sell it on. As you can see, there's lots of accessories on this boat. You've got the horn, the windows are good, there's navigation lights, there's an anchor pocket at the front which has been sealed by the previous owners and not to mention a 15 horsepower Suzuki on the back, four stroke. The canopy is probably only about two years old um, but most of the work is on the inside here as you can see. So on the inside, there's also a lot of work to, do, to be done, mainly a lot of cleaning. As you can see, the leaves need to come out here. There's, this needs fixing. This is the piece that goes on there, um, which is like, it could be used as a seat if obviously you're moving, um, if you're cruising, sorry. It was a bit ripped there, so we need to do something about that, whether we redo the whole carpet on the outside. I've got some stuff to fix this steering wheel or we can replace it. We've already got electrics on here, so we've got deck lights, water system, because there's a sink in here, which we'll get to in a minute. Um, there's a door on there, um, and then some seating which needs fixing out here. There's new, there's lino down, which has clearly been put down, and this looks like, if you can see that's outlined there, looks like there should be a pole for this table somewhere. Whether we'll find that or not, or we'll have to buy one, who knows. But there's also, leading into the cabin you've got a hole there which also looks like it's for a table so yeah this is the cabin i think it speaks for itself uh you can see this water getting in um mainly from this hatch window so that will be the first job just to get that sealed um but as you can see they've left the life jackets two for humans and one for a dog so my dog will be happy so yeah, you can see they've done a rubbish job with the lino in here. Just needs ripping it. And I've got some grey like I've done on mine. And then, yeah, there's lights on here. Everything, all the lights work and everything. Got two storage units. Game of Monopoly. That makes the purchase worth buying, obviously. And then same in there. More storage. Looks like they've taken some stuff out there. But yeah, bits like this. It just all needs neatening up and fixing. Um... But not a load of work it's just a project as i say to buy it bought it and then get it sold so yeah this gives you a bit of an idea obviously this hatch opens it's meant to open but it needs fixing so I try not to touch too much because i don't want to keep breaking stuff that's already broken to be honest but big fuel tank and a 15 horsepower suzuki outboard which all looks good with a big, I believe it's a 110 amp battery under there, which we'll get to. But first of all, we got to get the boat moved into a new mooring in the same marina, but round next to mine. So we're going to fire up the engine and get it moved before we do anything else. But the first, sec the first job when we get there will be that window. So let's get it moved. So what I've got is the key. I believe all I have to do just put the kill switch around there that pulls that out slightly and then get the actual key and that should fire up after we check it's got some petrol and give it a prime so i'll check that petrol because it's on there top that up and then we're ready to go never recommend uh, refueling on the boat um, especially not if you're as messy as me but let's get this engine started and then get it moved so yeah let's go first up we're gonna prime it yeah let's see if she fires up moment of truth when she start first time You have to turn the isolator switch. Isolator switch turned, take two. First time. 
no issues. Let it warm up and then we'll get it moved into the car. job that I've got is to use this HA6 marine grade RTV silicon sealant black and I'm going to run it on here because this is actually causing some water to get into the actual cabin so I'm going to cut this open and then we're going to seal this window so I've just got to clean this off get it sealed So this window has been sealed inside and out. Um, we're not going to know whether that's worked until it rains. Um, but it seemed to do a good job. It's a little bit messy if I'm honest. But uh, next time I definitely will tape on the inside. If anyone else does this, I'd tape on the inside really tight to the edge. And then run your bead of silicon round or sealant, whatever you're using. And then it, it shouldn't, when you peel that tape off, it should give a nicer edge than mine. I was trying to clean it up and it doesn't clean up very well obviously because it's marine <clears throat> and it's meant to go against water yeah it wasn't the best but um we carry on and yeah keep going so we learned so i'm going to take all these curtains off um and take them out i'm going to take down this headlining i'm going to get it all ready so then it, the wood that i've got to sand on these two boxes or storage container bits that's all going to be sanded and then i'm going to do the headliner and then I can do the cushions and then lay the floor. So that's the order of events of what I'm doing in here. Um, so first of all, obviously I've got to get all this down. Um, and the, these are all panels, I think. So I'm gonna unscrew these, take them out, and then I can rewrap them um, in the new fabric that I've got. And then obviously I'm gonna spray the, adhes uh, the adhesive onto you, lay this carpet in here, which I'll show you when I do it. But yeah, first of all, I've got to get it all stripped out and then we go from there, so. Time lapse with a bit of YouTube magic. Let's get this stripped out. I've just been trying to work out whether this is the original Shetland headliner, um, this blue. Um, but as you can see here, that's a Phillips and and there's a few dotted about oh where did i see one it's a flathead so unless shetland in 1989 mix their screws up they're all different colors some are rusted some aren't some are silver some are gold some are black uh, yeah but either way it's coming down now and hopefully all goes well so yeah let's get them down out come the two front cabin lights and the electrics shortly followed by the old cushions and i started dismantling the carpet Off 
with the ceiling, then comes off the first window and the shelf, um, the carpet the wrap that was wrapped around it, and then the rest of the windows. And we're back to the bare fiber glass before I'm packing all the bags. Well, I think that's some decent progress for an hour and a half. Got all that ripped out. You see that shelf now, which we're obviously going to recarpet all of this anyway. Um, it was they used four mil ply, I believe, on the top side up here, um, which was all screwed up. So I'm going to rewrap that before I put it back up with the new stuff, obviously, and then. We'll run the carpet all the way around here, tuck it behind the windows and then run the carpet down to the cushions and then probably paint these bilges potentially. Um, and then we'll wrap that as well. That'll be the same grey. Um, or I'll do it with the, I'll get, so I'm going to do these in carpet floor tiles. Um, so potentially we might just run them up there, might be better. A uh, new bit of trim here. And that side, so I think I need another meter of trim, probably. I guess some paint these up, uh, sand them down, and paint them up, and then yeah, that's what we've got to do in here. Sounds easy when you say it, but good few days work, <laughs> and then yeah, that's the board four mil, I believe. So I just re wrap that. And then wash the curtains and probably put them back up because they're not too bad. Um, so yeah, I've had, that's enough for today. Um, but if, you, if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one, which will be out very soon. Thank you very much for watching.